welcome to Nova Now, your connection to what's happening in Northern Virginia. I'm your host, Angelique LeBlanc. February is Black History Month, and every year Fairfax County hosts a wonderful celebration of black culture and life, and Cox has been a proud sponsor of this event for the past 12 years. Here with us to tell us all about this year's event are Emma Marshall and Paul Woods. So welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thank you. Um, so how long has the county actually been putting on this celebration? Well, Fairfax County has been putting it on over 25 years. Nice. I remember early years when it wasn't as big a wonderful production as we had, but it still was put on for about over about 25 years. Mm -hmm. Nice. And why is it so important for the county to put on such cultural events uh, to celebrate Black History Month? Well, they want to celebrate the diversity in their county and celebrate black history and black life and get all to participate and learn a little more about black history where a lot of it's not taught in school mm -hmm. and a lot of kids and families don't know about it. So Fairfax County is dedicated to do this. Yeah, and I always love going to the events and seeing such a wide, diverse range of, of people, residents and county folks and employees coming together. It's always really nice. Um, so who is this event geared towards like who can attend well I think um, it's really reaches a cross-section of people uh, we have school-age children teens uh, young adults seniors uh, we have a variety of people from um, different communities within Fairfax County uh, we also have faith faith-based organizations we get a lot of churches to come through businesses support us uh, we provide information from a different county agencies mm -hmm. that we share with the with the residents so we get a good cross-section of, of people in different communities. And one thing that I've noticed is that even within the past couple of years, we've even gotten a lot more people from the region, uh, the, nice. the Northern Virginia region, mm -hmm. as well as uh, DC and Maryland. And so um, it's becoming a regional event as well. Yeah, um, and so I mean, you, you spoke a little bit about, you know, it's a cross-section, it brings together a cross-section of folks. Who do you have participating in this year's event? Well, this year we're very excited because um, uh, we are going to have Mr. David Garnett come and he's going to speak and he's going to share with us uh, the importance of, I guess, preparing our youth and motivating our youth for the future. Mm -hmm. So he's going to deal with some um, the greatest stories of black residents or people who are not known. Uh, so some current people who are living who are making black history now. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, he's going to talk about some STEM programs, science, engineering, technology, math programs. Yeah, STEM is very important, yeah. Yes, and also trying to motivate uh, some of the parents to gear their children and youth towards that and kind of talk about some of the, uh, the importances or maybe uh, the contributions that some of our young people can contribute in those areas and become global people in the world. Mm -hmm. Global citizens is always yes, really nice citizens. to raise children. And we will like have young people um, doing wonderful things, singing mm -hmm. and dancing, and we'll have an a, a urban band, uh, urban jazz. Black history Black band. History band. Black history band. Black history band. I love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So I remember that uh, the event usually ties to the national theme. Um, so this year it's Century of Black Life History and Culture. Um, yes. So what are some of the exact things that, that this year's event are going to do to tie to that larger, broader national theme? Well, again, we'll have uh, the, get the guest speaker speaking mm -hmm. on that. Um, we'll have churches participating in that the black life piece. We'll have children participating in the black life piece. We'll have historical pieces to it. We'll have all kinds of information around okay. for folks to take mm -hmm. with them that will participate yeah. in the national theme. Yeah, nice. Um, so do you guys need volunteers or what sort of support do you guys get from the community for this event? We're always encouraging people just to come out and support us. I mean, we, it's a great occasion. As I said, we get all ranges of people, so we really need the community to continue to support us. I've been a part of this for three years, but Ms. Nice. Marshall here has been a part of it for longer, <laughs> and I'm just amazed as how many people come out, so we want to continue to get the support from the residents of the, of the county. Yeah, yeah It's nice. always standing room only. Yes, yeah, I mean, when I've gone before, it's just, you know, hundreds of people, it really does fill that atrium yes. at the government center. It's really nice. And we have a wonderful
wonderful reception that we begin with at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Nice, very good to mm -hmm. know. Um, so do you guys need volunteers at all for this event? What do volunteers do? Well, we do get a lot of volunteers. Um, we kind of tap into uh, some of the county agencies mm -hmm. and some of the other nonprofits, and we get a lot of team volunteers. We get a lot of adult volunteers. Some some young people need community service hours, so mm -hmm. uh, we contact them or they contact us. We can provide them those opportunities. And also, it's a lot of, um, I'll say, county agency employees that come out and support us. Um, so we always get a good group of volunteers from uh, from the county. Yeah, as well. that's wonderful to have a good group of volunteers and also to, to have the support of other of fellow county mm -hmm. county folks. Yes, that's they help really us set nice. up, they help us break down, they help us usher, they help us uh, tote things back and forth mm -hmm. from all of our different rooms <laughs> that we have people participants waiting in. So yeah, yeah, wonderful. So we've got just about a minute left. Um, is there anything else? If you could tell me what your favorite part of the event is from the past years, what would it be? Mm. Well, that's a good question. I think for me, it's just the diversity of the groups and the people that come to perform. Mm -hmm. um, because there are a lot of talented young people that come and just other individuals that come there to, to give speeches and share information. And it's always very uplifting and they have great positive things to say. So yeah, I enjoy I, the diversity of that. Yeah, I've always enjoyed seeing the young people perform. It's such a great avenue for them to, to showcase their, their talents. Um, I wonderful. like to see the, I love with the community that comes out. Mm -hmm. People call up and they bring busloads of kids and family members and it's, it's a community feel, it's a community event and it embraces everyone in the community. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, so tell us how uh, people can learn more or get involved. Well, they can go to Fairfax County website. Awesome. Um, and it'll talk about the time and the date, the 20th of, of February, starting at 6 o'clock. We'll have light refreshments. Perfect. And then the program will start at 730. Wonderful. At the Government Center, At right? the Government Center, yes. Fabulous. Please, yes. <laughs> well, thank you both for being here so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it as well. And we appreciate Cox's support over all these wonderful oh, years. Thank you. Thank you. We're so proud. To, it's a wonderful event. To find out more information, be sure to check out the Fairfax County website. I'm Angelique LeBlanc. Thanks for watching. Nova Now. So, yeah, that was wonderful. Yes, thank you so much.